Hello and welcome, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up, trainer Fitzroy Glispie's money miser lands a gamble in Saturday's Kimana Spark feature, the United Racehorse Trainers Association trophy event. Also at Kimana Spark, Buttercup pours a stunning upset on the favoured runners in the seven furlong contest for native bred two-year-olds in the Sunday feature event. And Jamaican Reigns Monsheen Ellis digs deep to unearth a lion-hearted performance from the two-year-old maiden Smart Almasty at Woodbine in Canada. First up, Kimana Spark for two races from over the weekend, starting with race nine from Saturday. Race nine was a restricted stakes event with a purse of 6,400 US dollars. A nine horse contest going 1,820 meters also dubbed the spectators' treat as the fans have a close up view of the starting gates right under the stands just before the horses break. Money Miser at odds of 6 to 5 with the leading rider in the jockey championship race, Ryan Lewis was looking to make it three wins on the day. Brian Rickman takes them from the gate. They're off. Once again, an almost perfect start. Essential quality roars to the front as they head toward that clubhouse turn. Essential quality taking the widest route, but angling down now has that lead at the clubhouse turn. Money Miser races near the rail in the red and black and white. Super Alex joins Money Miser, they rub shoulders, a length and a half to two lengths back to uncaptured Empress. Racing back in behind that one, that's a rhythm buzz as they go floating past the seventh. A gap of five or six to par from above, Wow Wow races second from the back, and here comes Doc, his last. They've taken to the back stretch proper and come away now toward the final six, an essential quality attempts to go all the way with a four-length lead. It's held over Super Alex, Money Miser, three lengths back. Rhythm Buzz racing up with Uncaptured Empress, a gap opening up to power from above. Wow Wow racing a length further back, and last of all, it's Here Comes Doc. They leave the five and head away now to the final half of a mile. Essential quality out in front, but not so far. Super Alex and Money Miser slicing into that lead. Rhythm Buzz racing on the outside in fourth. Just about five lengths separates that bunch. And Captured Empress is a further three lengths back. A gap opening up to power from above. Then Wow How, and here comes Doc going nowhere at the moment. The leaders leave the 3 8 pole behind them. And Essential Quality is being caught by Super Alex. Money Miser stoked upon the rail. Rhythm Buzz in a handy spot if good enough. Uh, these four now in a tight clump as they come turning into the top of the lane. It is Super Alex, just the leader. Money Miser coming alongside and rubbing shoulders. These two battling eye to eye. They're inside the final 316. Super Alex showing a lot of fight on the rail. Money Miser continues to challenge and now Money Miser points over Super Alex. Does Super Alex have anything left to fight back? It is Money Miser out in front. Action pack Ray Lewis and Money Miser beginning to come away in the United Race Horse Trainers Association trophy. They take it by three. Super Alex is second. What a performance by Money Miser, engaging a higher gear midway the top of the straight to hold off the challenging Super Alex, who rubbed his shoulders for most of the way before fading off at the furlong pole. Money Miser, who is owned and trained by Fitzroy Glispie, covered 1820 meters in 1 minute and 58 seconds flat. Still at Kimana Spa for the race 7 feature the Abbey Granham Memorial Cup on Sunday. A race dominated by four trainers in a six-horse field. A small field of six further reduced to five with a scratch of ammo. Ian Prasad losing one of his two entries. Champion trainer Anthony Nunes with his lone entry allegiance breaking from the one box was the three to five favorite in the betting. Hall of Fame inductee and trainer Richard Azan's bought a cup and Matuso taking orders from the five and six box respectively. From the comms box, Brian Rickman called them home. We're on the way to the final half mile and the turn for home and Tioff has that lead now opening up some three lengths. Allegiance continues to chase. Blue Sensation hidden from view. Matuso has picked up now and forms a line of three and at the back Buttercup remains and looks helpless at the moment as the tempo increases on the run toward the three. Tioff, trying to slip away from them, has opened up some three and a half to four lengths, being chased now by a blue sensation. Matuso is asked to kick in on the outside of horses. Allegiance has faded badly and is now being overtaken. 
by Buttercup as they come into the top of the lane and it is out in front. Tioff continuing to hold the advantage. Here is Matuso kicking in on the outside and Matuso may just have the measure of them all. Matuso with that lead running now toward the final furlong. It is Matuso out in front. Tioff trying to fight back. Buttercup now begins to bloom down against the rail and it is Buttercup who snatches the lead. Buttercup out in front inside the final 16. Blue Sensation trying to rally on the outside but Buttercup and O'Neill Scott will take the average Grand Memorial Cup. Buttercup recovered miraculously from an awful start, coming all the way from fifth and last with just two and a half furlongs to go. Had enough gas left in the tank to challenge the leaders and get the win. The 27 to 1 outsider Buttercup was well handled by jockey O'Neill Scott for trainer Richard Azan, covering the seven furlong strip in one minute, 31 and one fifth of a second. Former champion jockey Shane Ellis scored a massive upset win at Canada's Woodbine Racetrack the past weekend. This win was his sixth since returning to Canada in May this year. Ellis, who was based in Canada between 2001 and 2007 before returning home to Jamaica, was aboard the 45 to 1 outsider number 3 Smart Amnesty in Woodbine's fifth race on Sunday. The third longest shot in the nine horse field and second from last going down the backstretch. The leader is Speedy Bullet. A neck in front of in second country living. A length and a half away third. Rio Amazing American Decision the outside. They came away by two and a half to Gold Bonanza. Bucks Fizz the outside. Motion granted the rail. Back to second last. Smart Almasty and the trailer. One and a half away is Awesome Entry. They go along to the half mile and Speedy Bullet the leader. Leads three quarters to country living. A length away third American Decision. Here coming with a nice move through the pack is Smart Almasty is up the inside to go into fourth spot running home well. Then Rio Amazing, Bucks Fizz taking off from mid-pack. Behind them, Motion Granted dropping off to last. Gold Bonanza passed by Awesome Entry. They come to the 5 sixteenths and out in front, Speedy Bullet by three quarters of a length. Challenged in second by Country Living. Smart Almost is right behind them, going extremely well. American Decision the outside as they corner. And Smart Almost right through in the center. On the inside, Smart Almost the outer. Country Living, they go out in front. Running from the back is Bucks Fizz in behind American Decision, Smart Almasty from Country Living and finishing on is also down the outside, Awesome Entry and is flying home down the outside, out in front, Smart Almasty, Awesome Entry coming on, Smart Almasty and Smart Almasty is the winner. Smartly ridden by Ellis, the two-year-old called to Smart Almasty gets his first win in three lifetime starts. Ellis aboard on all of his starts so far for Jamaican trainer Kadeen Gordon. At 45 to 1 odds, a smart amnesty upsets in a narrow win by a neck over 92 shot awesome entry in the maiden optional claiming fifth race. The winning time for eight and a half furlongs, one minute, 47.84 seconds. With just one race day left on the November card for Kimanis Park, before the eagerly anticipated cash rich Mute Mile set for December 2. In what is promised to be a royal affair, with the glitz and glam also showcasing the best racing talents at Kemana's Park. We've been at the track covering the sport of kings. Check us out next time for another edition of a beautiful Kemana's Park feature.